All right, let's see here. Another return request. Buyer would like to return the item because there was semen on the jeans. What? Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Lucas and thank you so much for clicking on this video. In this video, we're gonna be going over returns, the dreaded topic that nobody wants to talk about because no one likes it. So I'm sure all of you, if you've been reselling for any amount of time now, have got the dreaded request for return. What do you do? Well, if you're on Poshmark, you're in luck because Poshmark does not really do returns. However, the case that I talked about at the beginning of this video was on Poshmark and because the buyer blatantly lied and said that there was semen on these jeans, she won and the item was returned. Now, what about eBay? So over the past year, we have, we have had a blanket policy of just accepting returns. So what have our numbers look like? Well, in the past 12 months, we've had over 300 transactions, 304, I believe to be exact, and we've had 12 returns. So that's not too bad, about one a month. However, when we started uh, really pushing harder on eBay over the past few months, we have had six of those returns in the past 90 days. So we have seen an uptick that's almost double what we were on track to do before. But of these returns, one never even sent the item back. So that was good for us. So we accepted it. They never sent it back. So we didn't have to worry about that. We didn't, and we do not refund them their money before they send the item back. The majority of the other items that were requested to be returned were just that they didn't fit, even though we provide pretty darn good measurements. These people uh, apparently don't know their own measurements, but that's okay. Instead of having them leave some terrible review or negative feedback or just having to deal with any of that stuff, we just go ahead and accept the return. One of the items was because it was defective uh, this was a VCR. I don't know if it got damaged in transport. I had had it working um, before I sent it out, made sure to check to see that it was. And when we got it back, it wasn't working. So I don't know what happened. Um, I wasn't gonna go looking to see if they like switched it out for a different one, whatever. It's not really worth it for me to do that. But I did set up selling it for parts so we didn't lose money on the whole transaction. So that was good. Some of the other um, requests though that we've gotten on Poshmark was one lady claiming that the jeans just disintegrated when she put them on. Well, Poshmark asked for pictures and what had happened, it looked like when she was pulling them up, um, the belt loops broke. So obviously these jeans were a little bit too small for her and these jeans did not disintegrate. They were uh, just the wrong size. As far as um, the money goes, they didn't end up having to return them. Uh, Poshmark just made sure that we were able to get our money and we weren't really having to worry about it. Now, as far as the seller, did she get a refund? We don't know and we don't really care. The other return request that we got on Poshmark was for an item that had been sold in November and like three months later, they decided they want to return it because it was a Christmas gift and the person didn't like it or whatever. Um, hello, we are not Amazon or Walmart. We don't have a 90 day return policy. So she was mad about that, but uh, Poshmark sided with us and realized that, hey, that's a ridiculous return. So Poshmark definitely has some benefits when it comes to returns, um, but people can get around that still by blatantly lying and you're kind of just stuck because they made a bad choice and they're just mad about it. So, but as far as eBay, uh, what we've started to do now with our bigger items, uh, like shoes or hard goods, we are having the buyer pay return shipping. So the buyer pays for shipping in the first place, and then they would have to pay to ship the item back. So hopefully this will uh, do away with a little bit of that buyer's remorse. Um, but we're still potentially can get item not as described claims, which are ridiculous too. Returns are just part of the game. Just find a venting buddy to vent about it, scream about it, whatever you want to do, but then just move on. I mean, it's not that big of a deal in the end. Um, most of your cost of goods should be relatively cheap related to the what you're selling them for. So in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. So thank you guys so much 
for clicking on this video. We really appreciate it, and we will see you in the next one.